Hello my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. In this week's video, I wanna dive into how can you suppress small sample sizes in Tableau? So if you're reporting on sensitive information, maybe you have a population that's too small, you don't wanna say, hey, there's you know three students of this racial background and this age range. How do you just you know replace that with something like an icon uh, instead? Okay, so uh, let's let's dive into this. So I've got, I'm going to start with some Superstore data. We're going to dive into a couple different data sets uh, throughout the sake of our example here. So the first thing I want to do is show you how to take a value uh, that's you know smaller than you want, convert it to a zero, and then format the zero as you know some sort of special icon like an X or a star or something like that. Okay, so right now I'm just looking at uh, customer accounts in my Superstore data set. I filtered it down to the state of Michigan. I'm looking at all years. So let's say that any time that the number of customers drops below five, I want there to be a little star there to indicate that this is suppressed data. Okay, so how do I do that? Uh, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna hit the drop down to create a calculated field. The window over here. All right. So this will be our customer account and then just so we know what it is, I'll say suppressed. And then how I'll do this is I will say, if my count distinct of customer ID is less than five, then zero, else count distinct customer ID. Okay, so what I'm telling Tableau is if that number is less than five, then just convert it to a zero for the sake of you know what we're trying to accomplish here. Okay, so let me show you what that looks like. I'm trying to think about the best way to, to show this off. I'm actually going to put this also on text in the marks card, which is probably going to look really bad for a minute because it's going to, everything's going to be doubled. But watch this. If I change my year filter, so let's say I'm just looking at 2023, uh, like look at this cell here. The actual customer count is three, but with our calculation, it shows as a zero. Uh, so you're probably thinking, well, that's kind of inaccurate. I don't want to show it as a zero. I just want to, you know, put some sort of placeholder value there. I got you. We're going to do that. So what we'll do now is that customer count suppressed. I'm going to hit the drop down on that field in the data pane, go to default properties and number format. Okay. So in number format, what I want to do is uh, utilize custom number formatting to put a symbol in there anytime that the value is zero. So if I go straight into the custom number formatting, there's nothing there. And that's kind of intimidating to have to write it all from scratch. So what I would do is use kind of the other number formattings to get it as close as you want. So for instance, I want a number. I don't want any decimals. And then now let's flip to custom and Tableau will have filled out most of your number formatting already, okay? So what's going on here? The first little bit, the first column before the first semicolon, that's what Tableau is gonna do with positive numbers. The next bit, that's what Tableau is gonna do with negative numbers. And then if there was one more semicolon, then this would be, what does Tableau do with zeros? So you can see the positive numbers tells you there's, there could be a comma, it will have no decimals. Then you can see for the minus numbers, there's that little dash, that little minus subtraction symbol. So now if I wanna treat the, uh, the zero as something else, what I'll do is I'll put one more semicolon and then for now, let's just put a big X there. Okay, and so now you can see what that looks like, okay? So if you want to customize that, like let's say that you're like, hey, I want a star symbol, right? Um, let's let's try and pull that off. So I'll say like star symbol icon copy and paste. I tried to use an asterisk doing this once and it didn't work out very well. So I think I'd rather just use a star. Let's see if this works. Star text symbols. And let's go back into our default properties and our number format and let's see if I can just paste that star in there instead. Yeah, that's not bad, right? Well, uh, we'll roll with that. So now I can take my original count distinctive customer ID off and we'll just use our suppressed values instead. So there you go. That's a that's a pretty foolproof way to be able to suppress counts, you know, under five, under 10, whatever your threshold is, okay? Um, so we're gonna look at some additional examples because sometimes it's a little bit more complex than that, all right? So what about if you actually have true zeros in your data set? right? So with the way the Superstore data works, if there was zero customers in a specific category and segment, it would just be a null. There wouldn't be a zero. There'd just be no records there. So there wouldn't be anything to asterisk. There'd just be a blank cell. Um, and that's not true of all data, right? So like I've got a little uh, customer account data source that I built here. 
where sometimes there are rows of data where the customer count is truly a zero. So how do we make sure that we're not sort of crossing our wires and confusing our users, you know, when something is actually a zero versus when we are suppressing something, okay? So in that case, we may handle the suppression a little differently. So right before we dive into that, if you check out this info button up here in the top corner, um, Ollie and I run Tableau classes every single month, Tableau prep, Tableau desktop, data preparation, dashboarding, design, calculations, all that good stuff. We'd love to meet you, have you there. It's a great way to dive deeper. Uh, we cover topics in a little bit of depth here on YouTube, and then we get to cover them in a lot of depth in those live classes. So yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll catch you there. All right, let's talk about how we create this calculation uh, for this example. So I'm gonna handle this one a little differently. Uh, same general premise though. So once again, I'll call this customer count suppressed, okay? And then this time around, what I'll do is I will say, all right, it looks like in this case, it's a sum of customer account. So if my sum of customer account is less than five, we're gonna handle this a little differently, then uh, negative one, okay? Uh, else my sum of customer account. So this is, this is just a little different than how we did it before because now we're converting the value to a negative one instead. So let me show you what that will do. So customer account suppressed, let's put that there on text with it. Um, so you can see like here's an example of what it's doing. There's a zero that it converted to negative one. There's a three it converted to negative one. So same idea as before, uh, but let's go ahead and do our default properties and number format one more time. This time we'll do number custom, no decimals, flip down here to custom. Now we don't really need to mess with the zero number formatting. It's just the negative section that we're gonna mess with. So we would just, uh, whoops, I meant to paste the star there. Let me go see if I can find that star symbol again. Uh, I guess I'll just copy it from the web once again. All right, take two, default properties, number format. I'm gonna wipe out the entire negative section and just throw the star in there. So now you can see, okay. They're all getting asterisks as stars, except here's our problem, right? Which is um, these zeros, we may actually want to show those as zeros. So if that's the case, now it's going to get a little more interesting, right? So now I'm going to create one more calculated field. And then this time around, I'll call this um, customer account um, suppressed uh, with zeros, though. So we know the zeros are still displaying. So now I'll say if my uh, sum of customer account equals zero, uh, then zero, else if my sum of customer count is less than five, then negative one, else sum of customer count. So a little typo up there. There we go. All right, now let's do our number formatting for that. Default properties, number format, and let's go number custom, no decimal places. Okay, now flip down to custom one more time, comma, zero. So that's for our zero section. And then this little piece here is where we're gonna copy that star from symbolcopy.com. Thank you, symbolcopy.com. All right, we'll say okay, and let's try this one on text. Did that work? I think it did, right? So now you can see, you know, the actual value is zero. So our, the third line there, that's our newest calculation. That's showing it as a zero. Here's the one that's a three. In both cases, the three uh, is suppressed. It's showing up as a, as a star, right? Um, so now sort of the final question is how, that, that's all great for a text table, right? All we've done so far is handle this in a text table format. How would you handle this with something like a bar chart or a line graph, okay? So same data we were just working with, but now in a bar chart form, okay? So what I would do is I would actually use a combination of those last two calculations, okay? So for the length of the bar, I just wanna use the general suppressed, right? You don't wanna do, or actually I may even have to do one where we convert it to zero, because watch what happens. If I put customer count suppressed on columns, my suppressed values are now going negative, which is weird. I just probably want them to show up at the baseline. Um, so let me just duplicate this one more time and then I'll edit this and I'll just call this the one for the bars. So if it's less than five, then it gave us a zero, otherwise give us the customer count. So that's gonna be really good for the length of the bars, okay? And then for the label, this is, if we wanna differentiate between like a zero versus a suppressed value, that's where our, our calculation from the last worksheet could be really handy. If we put suppressed with zeros on label, 
you know, now I can see, okay, east, consumer, that's suppressed. It's, there is a number, but it's less than five. West, that's actually a true zero. So that's a pretty deep dive into kind of some technicalities around it, but I just wanted to try and cover as many of the different topics and thoughts around suppressing numbers in Tableau that I could think of. So if you got questions for us, um, let us know. We drop content like this every week, so feel free to follow along. We also work on projects. You know, a lot of the ideas for our videos come from our clients and our projects uh, that we work with. So if you ever have something where you want some help on that, um, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, and we'd love to love to get the conversation started. So thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon.